Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PhotoP video. This one is going to be a template for an outro screen that you can use for anything. Uh, for this example, I just have a Roblox background. So I'll show you how to edit it now and you'll have yourself a new outro screen. Okay, so first things first, I have all the folders over here. So you can see the video boxes, the left square, right square, it's all organized for you. And let's say you wanna change the name up here. So just double click on the name and type in your name and you might need to recenter it. So just move it to the center like that. So that's how you do that. And then if you wanna change this to don't forget to subscribe or whatever you'd like you can do that as well and let's say you want to change the color of these boxes so just open up the boxes menu click on that go to color overlay and you can just change the color to whatever color you want so that's really cool I'm going to do that with both of them. So this is fully customizable. You can make it however you'd like, any color you like, whatever you want to do. You can do it. And I'm trying to make it really easy for you guys to do that. So you can have a natural screen that you like. You can even change the text color up here. Add a color overlay. Change the blend mode to normal. I think that's what was wrong with the circle. Let's see. Let me go to the circle real quick. Yeah, it was on overlay mode. So I had to change that to normal. So let me, um, so that's how you edit all the colors. Let me go back to its original state. Okay. So, um, now you can change your background if you want to a different game or something. You might need to do some adjusting. So the text blends more like maybe add a drop shadow. Um, but it's up to you guys. I'm going to add another one. I'm just going to add a few examples. Okay. So I added a bunch of backgrounds now. So you'll see over here, there's all these backgrounds. It will be in a folder. And all you want to do is just unhide them and you can see them. So I have some presets that you can use if you want, or you can import your own by just copying and pasting a picture into it and setting it as the background. So fully customizable, whatever you want to do with it, you can do. So hopefully that helped you guys. And the way you get to this is by going down in the description below, there will be a link to this file and you'll just want to click on that and then you can edit it and then save it as, and that's it. So no download required for Mediafire or whatever. It's just a link. So hopefully this helps you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.